All right, this is part two of the video about the uh, 1000 watts grid tight inverter with limiter. This is a 120, 150, 120 volt output, which I'm gonna be utilizing for one inverter pan leg, leg one, leg two. So this is gonna be feeding back to the grid with the limiters. On these sides there, and you guys can see exactly what is going on here. Live from the channel. I just wanna welcome you if you're just joining in. Welcome to JW Solar USA and thanks for watching. Stay tuned. I will be showing you what I'm going to be doing here, which the limiter is going to be attached to this internal. And internal is an external. So I hope you can see that on the camera. And um, this is all we're going to be dealing with here. As we attaching this, I'm going to be building. This is the board I decided to uh, from a scrap. If you guys watch my <clears throat> home improvement video, this one came from the countertop, my kitchen countertop. So it's already changed to a uh, marble style, which is uh, really, really cool. So I decided to keep this um, countertop, used countertop for a future project and which is now in progress. That's why you don't throw everything away. Not everything you can save, but whatever you can save, you know that it's going to be um, helpful or it's going to be useful for future uh, projects. I encourage you to save it because it will cost some money. But this is the wood you can see on the side where all that's the counter. This, this side was attached to the wall and that side was just um, the drawers are on the side there. See, like this side, the other side is a uh, drawers all the way down. So I'm going to be utilizing this instead of wasting it. And that's why I kept it. And now it's, it has come to reality. And um, which I'm going to be utilizing here. So like I said on the video, the other video, you already know the features about this. Um, I'm going to be showing you um, the plugs here. Someone asked me a question regarding the uh, inverter, if um, they have them on a 220 or a 240 version. Of course, if you get to the specs of this thing, if I can grab one of them, but before doing so, I'll show you here is the... Uh, the, the sensor that goes here, that clamps to the main breaker uh, wire that comes from the house. This is what it is. So it depends what kind of wire they put on your breaker to your panel. See, there's a little transformer in here that reads because it's a kind of like, um, I think it's a... Uh, a magnet or something i'm not too sure if it's a magnet but that's the one that reads so the wire goes in there and snap see that's a 100 amp 50 millivolt okay that's the website you can find it there if you want to buy a bigger one it depends what your wire is if your wire is small or it's bigger you have to find a way if you go to this website here, you can able to order this device. You just have to cut the wire and try to improvise. This is the side that plugs goes to the inverter. They sell them. So let's see if it's not applicable for you, for your house, you have to order the big, big one. Look for the medium or whatever is I think this is the smallest size here. So being saying that this one attached to this 
And here comes the other one uh, attaching to the other one. Same one. And it will attach right there. Okay. And have it right here. All right. Each of these guys going to be clamp to your main L1, L2 on your panel. It senses the, um, the voltage or the voltage, uh, the wattage, sorry, that's coming out from each leg. And this inverter, this th those two inverters going to be throwing back power to compensate for what you're taking out from the grid and trying to compensate to match if the inverter cannot match the power you borrowing from the grid these meters or this clamp sensor that's gonna be like oh okay we push the max that we have since they're thousand watts each and they will just do what they can it depends how many panels you have on each module so that's the importance of having the sensor you have to change the settings on the um, screen here the specifications wherever you want to put it for they normally come with uh, international plug you can see the international for both of you guys who are not familiar with this like a European um, style the same way like a computer cable and here is a plug that's how they look like for overseas different countries have different plugs all right they have the fuse embedded here for that um for this application it's 230 volt hold on i think it's 230 no it's 250 let's see if you can read it okay Okay, 250, 13 amps. This is why it's rated for. So you can put it on a 15 amp outlet. And here's the standard American slash other countries that uses this plug. Okay, so you can see it's the same. So it comes with either or. So this is what I want to just give you guys an update into what I'm going to be doing here with all these uh, stuff and we can get from there okay so the thing I'm gonna be doing here I'm gonna be mounting this stuff right on that board but before doing so I always recommend I always recommend it's nice to have recommendation what people has done before or what others have done before what you've never done before so you can do it the first time the right way do it the right way at the first time so <clears throat> since this inverter this inverters no one it has a big heat sink from here so i always put bushings here like rubber bushings or like, you know, how do you use the bushings for your car? I normally get bushings and lift elevate these inverters. Every inverter I have, every charge controller I have, or ha I have or had before, they're always elevated because I need the airflow underneath each controller. They breathe better and they work perfectly you're not going to be overheated so if you haven't done that i'll encourage you to start doing it because you will save the life of your inverters or charge controller or any electronic machine that generates heat or dissipate heat to last longer because these ones has fans and they have heat they have a passive and they have fans on them it's a passive 
they don't use fans. But this one uses fans. It has a passive cooling as well that makes it kind of efficient or breathe better. Okay? That's what I um, just want to show you. And this is what I want you guys to think about. You can do whatever you want, but to uh, prolong the life expectancy of your inverters or whatever project you're doing, I'll recommend you do um, what I'm just recommending here for future purposes and um, you will reap the benefit of what I'm talking about because I don't want you to do mistakes that other people have uh, done or... And um, stay tuned for more to come. Let me see if I can grab you some bushings here. Like, subscribe, and share. All right, folks. Uh, just want to show you guys here what I'm planning to do or what I was explaining to you guys earlier. As uh, Sorry. So... Let me take these wires off, these uh, sensors here, put them aside, and show you what I was saying. These are one of the, uh, some of the bushings I was talking about here. See, I have uh, plenty of these, but uh, as projects keep going, I tend to misplace them where they are. But, you know, most of the time when you, you don't need that particular or you, you don't have no use for it, that's the time you're going to spot them where they are. So, um, elevated this one. You see the setup right there? I have four of the mounting bushings where the inverter is going to see that. And uh, for better configuration and do the same thing to the other one so if I decided to put this one here and um, uh oh I think I'm short of one and have another one right there so and uh, I have two styles there is the other ones here but it's, it's like the same height the only thing this one is fatter and this one is uh thinner skinny but um they all do the job so this is what i'm trying to explain here so let's try to deal with the first inverter by placing one of the inverters first right there see make sure that they're all in the direct position the way or lined up the way I want them So I'm trying to use uh, one of my <laughs> screw if I can go through. Maybe I have to use a beat to go through. Let's see if this one is going to go first. Okay. Um, and we're going to try and see if uh, we can have the um, second nut or screw in here. 
bear with me I'm gonna make sure they're all lined up straight so I'm gonna put one on the other side from here make sure it's not gonna move Okay, and uh, try the third one. So we put in the fourth one here. Hope you guys uh the camera is still focused you're doing instead of doing automatic focusing so they're all in so you see it's all tight up tighten up so i can lift this one you can see it's not going anywhere and stay tuned so that I can do the rest of it and you'll see the output. Alright guys, and this is how it's already all mounted. And um, just want to show you the um, end product here. You guys can see, zoom a little bit here, how the uh, transition right there, the fins and all like touching the uh the, the board anymore so if you like this please subscribe like and share right here from the uh jw solo usa and if you guys notice the terminals input terminals were here um for just i was trying to screw the thing all the way down i noticed the uh right here you see the home button right there the home button, like a house, right there, was upside down. So I just corrected the, the mistake right away before it up screwed up everything. So um, this will be the end product right here. And I'm going to set it on the wall straight so you guys can see how they're going to be inclined with um, the, the way I'm going to put them on the wall. So... Stay tuned. Please subscribe, give a like, and share. All right, folks, this is how it looks like. And that's all the way to stand right there. It's going to go vertical like that. And down here, probably it's going to be, um, I'm going to drill a hole right here. So where, right here, where the cord's going to go through from here, the power cord you can see right there the power cord coming here direct down here drill a hole that goes to the plug where the outlet okay from here it's gonna go at the top this is where everything's gonna be connected the terminals from the solar the PV and I'm gonna be having this other side right here the internal, you see that one, that's where the sensor is going to go. And it's going to transition right to the, uh, how you call it, the um, breaker box. Breaker box is going to be somewhere around here within that range. And they're going to just sit like this. The fans are underneath. And that's how everything's going to work. All right, folks, thank you for watching. And right here, thanks 
Subscribe, like, and share. JW Solo USA. I wish you all a wonderful day. Bye for now.